Movers, welcome here. It's Tracy Steen of Move Daily Fitness, and in today's workout, we're gonna hit a total body blast, okay? A little bit of everything, really fatigue the muscles, but also we're gonna add some cardio to get the heart rate up, burn some calories. In today's workout, you're gonna require a variety of dumbbells. I also want you to grab a bench or a chair or something to step up on. All right, get all that stuff ready. Get ready to have some fun, <laughs> to move daily. It's fun, right? Yes, Tracy, it's fun. All right, let's do this. All right, let's start with a little skip right here. Hey, I forgot to mention your format, but it's gonna be 45 seconds worth of work, 15 seconds to transition, okay? And uh, as best as I can, I'll throw in some modifications for those who need a little modification, okay? Woo, all right, sounds good. <laughs> let's do it. All right, let's move into some butt kicks right here. Just behind, you can modify with a step right there. Gonna get everything nice and warm. Everything's gonna be three rounds, okay? So a little bit more overloading the muscles. I know our last workout last week was a no repeat. This time we're repeating. Total benefit to both of those things. So you always wanna make sure that you add the repeats. Three, two, and one. All right, let's go into some reverse lunges right here. Take it back, nice and slow. Just give that hip flexor a bit of a stretch there. Good. Alternating here. All right, six more. And last one right here. Good. All right, let's bring the knee up, give it a big hug, alternating like that. Good, stretching in the glutes a bit. Into that hip flexor. That's it. Oops. Couple more here. In four, three, two, and one. All right, take it super wide. Let's do some stretches side to side here, just lengthening in through that groin. I do have some side lunges for you today, so this is always good to stretch because people who do side lunges who haven't done them for a while tend to feel it so much in the groin the next day, so. Let's go, a couple more here. And there. Good, back to your skipping right here. Good. I just finished the coffee. My guts are totally sloshing right now. Oh. That's what happens when you sit at the computer, try to edit videos. I'm like freezing all the time. Butt kicks here. So I drink coffee or hot water just to stay warm. And then, now I've got sloshy gut syndrome. I'm surprised that you can't hear it actually. It's very loud. Five more seconds here, and then let's go back into those reverse lunges. In three, two, one, all right, take it back. Stretching that hip flexor again. Good, good. Okay, five more here. Four. Three. Two. Last one here. All right, let's take a side to side lunges here. Have you, ever, uh, have you ever made cauliflower rice? 
You just take cauliflower, pulse it in a food processor or grate it, and then you cook it with, I do lemon juice, a little coconut oil, and some cilantro, but it stinks it's so bad. I came into my house uh, after work this morning, and I'm like, oh, it smells like, like rotten garbage. But no, it's cauliflower. Why are those cruciferous vegetables so smelly, yet so tasty? All right, well, let's get started. Let's start our first exercise with a little squat thrust. I'm gonna grab my eights, okay? At the shoulder height, we're squatting, big power up overhead. Get ready, here we go. Low and press, that's it. So you wanna push through the heels here, work those shoulders up and overhead, that's looking good so far. I got quite a few little compound exercises here for us today as well. That will get the heart rate up. Just because multi-muscle, multi-joint. So you break and pause the video as you need, okay? Good little side lunge is coming up next. Last one right here. Good. Whew. Okay. You're gonna alternate side lunge here and here. Okay, I'm gonna hold the weights on each side of my leg as I lunge. You could hold them up at your shoulders as well. Ready? Here we go. Low, center, low. Reach your hips back, that's it. That should be challenging to push off if your hips are back and low enough there. Moving to a little step up next. So think about where your chair or bench is. Or step, stair. In three, two, and time. Good. Okay, I'm setting those down. I'll call halfway on this one. We're gonna step up, leg extension to the side. In three, two, here we go. Up and out. Okay, you can come down, slight squat there. My out of the frame, hard to say from here. squeeze that glute at the side there. Last one this side. Good, and switch. Here we go. Moving back to that squat thrust next. Last one there. Good. the heart rate up. Okay, squat thrust, round two. <clears throat> Ready, let's do it. Keep your shoulder width apart, power up there. Up, that's it. Halfway, go, come on. Anyway, I made the cauliflower rice with um, Mexican braised beef. Yummy, it's very delicious. Uh, the recipe is, last one, good. Okay, side lunge. Recipe is, I'm just trying to think where you can get it. I think if you go to my website, there's a pop-up window. You have to enter your email, here we go, address. And then there's a clickable link that sends you like 30 recipes, 30 wellness tips. I think it's on there. 
I'll link it below. Um, anyway, so it's a crock pot recipe, and uh, you just use like stewing beef. It's a little cheaper. And then there's fire roasted salsa, tomato paste, beef stock, chili powder, salt, onions, garlic. There, I'm there, I just told you the recipe. <laughs> and you just put that on a crock pot. Reach back, nice. And then uh, it makes kind of like this saucy beef that's really tasty and savory. And then I made the cauliflower rice with the lemon juice and cilantro. Let's put it on top. Ready? Step up, kick out. Little squat there, come on. Low. So there you've got a lower carb option for dinner if that's what you care about. Um, and it's really good. Actually good as leftovers too. We're having that for lunch. Switch sides. And go. Out. You could also wait this exercise right here. Hold your dumbbells. Okay. Drop your glute, don't bend forward here. Woo! Good burn. All right, round three. Back to the squat thrust. Three, two, start. I always, uh, like I'm in the stage right now, I'm not loving making dinners. You know, we kind of go in and out, don't you? Well, we went to some friend's house for dinner last week. I love seeing what other people are cooking, you know, like you always have your, your staples, your go-tos, what you grew up with, and they have something totally different and gives you good ideas. Like she served this big salad, which was delicious, um, and put dates, it was dates and beans and corn, peppers, cucumbers, um, but I forgot, time, how much I love the dates on the salad. I'm bringing that back this week. Side lunges, again, you think of all of those things on a salad. Ready, start. And your Jones and for fat loss, most of those things I mentioned are quite high in carbohydrates. Dates, corn, beans, right? So you got a moderation with that. Eat more of the leafy greens. And just have a bit of that other stuff. Sometimes salads can be upwards of like 800 to 1,000 calories once you add the dressing in restaurants. Got to be careful with that. If you think it's healthy, sometimes it's not as uh, clean as you thought. Whew, feels good. Six seconds. Big lunge here. Come on. Low. Good. Last step up. Now we're going to switch exercises. Ready? And work. <laughs> um, on our program, on our six week accountability program, I checked the member's um, macronutrient chart and food log. And someone was choosing falafels, you know, with chickpea, thinking that was a really great healthy option for her switch sides not realizing that it was throwing her carbohydrate tipping point way over, especially when she had it in a wrap, right? Or with sweet potatoes. Again, healthy food, too much. You may not use up all that energy that it provides. Last one, woo! Okay, let's move on to circuit two. Let's start round two off with a plie wide shoulder press. So take it super wide, hands are here. You're gonna go down, press up, butt out, okay? Get ready, here we go. So low, press wide. 
Okay, quite a bit more difficult pressing wide than pressing straight overhead, as you'll notice. Okay, it just tax, taxes that uh, medial delt in your side shoulder. But uh, feels good. Got my eights, and it's work. <laughs> Definitely work. Whew, good. Halfway press. Yeah, 45 seconds with this weight will definitely fatigue the shoulders. Five seconds, taking it down to the ground for Turkish get up next. All right, good. I'm gonna use my one eight. This Turkish get up, start on the ground. Hand is up, knee is up. We're gonna come here, stand all the way up. Ready? Here we go. I'll call halfway. I want you to keep that hand in the air the whole time. Keep your eyes on it. Woo, it's a burner in the shoulder. All right, switch sides. Only gonna get a couple in per side here. Shut up to standing. One more time here. Come on. Three, two, woo. All right, take it back down to the ground. You're gonna do a crush grip, which means dumbbells touch, okay? Plus a leg lift. So you're gonna push up, legs go down, up and down. Here we go. So up, legs, up, down, up, legs. Now, if this hurts your back, or your back is arching, we got three to go one leg at a time right here, okay? That's it. Now that crush grip is palms together, weights touching each other. Good, and stay over the chest, not the face or neck. And there's your time. Nice. All right, let's go back to the shoulder press plie. Standing, grab your eights or whatever you're using here. Take it wide, wide press. Ready? Right here, up, good. You just really feel the difference if you take it out just slightly wider. Oh, that shoulder really has to work, doesn't it? So, I don't know if you noticed the time or the difference in the darkness. You probably haven't noticed that any time has gone by at all. But I've actually been gone for two hours between the last round and this round. I know, not ideal, but <laughs> we had a mishap in the family, so. All right, let's go to that Turkish get up. Oh, my son needed a jump with his car. Well, we weren't sure initially, ready? And here we go. No, here we go now. He has BCAA, so he can call a toe, but was it a toe? Or was it just the battery died? And could we just avoid the toe and avoid using one of the toes if we just got a new battery? Anyway, that's all beyond me. But I went and helped him, so I've been gone. Switch sides, here we go. And up. So, if I have more energy right now, it's because I took a two hour break <laughs> in between. Not recommended. Good, keep it going. Three, two, one. All right, go back to that crush grip. Whew. Let's add another coffee and I'm all like, uh. <laughs> Okay, ready? Start up high, leg lift first. 
legs up, chest press. Push the small of your back into the ground when you do the legs. jumper cables on the battery and nothing happened. He's 22, he just got instantly mad. <laughs> and kicked his car, I'm like, that is smart, honey. Hey, you broken toe. Anyway, <laughs> so then I'm like, oh, what do we do? And I called my husband, he's like, just let it charge for a bit before he turns it over. And uh, so we waited for a bit and then it turned over. Crisis averted. <laughs> Yay. Last one. There. Good. Who of you are still rescuing your adult children? <laughs> I said that to mom. I'm like, when will I not have to rescue you? Like, how many weeks in between rescues are you going to give me of freedom? Here we go. He laughed and smiled. And then asked me if I could take him to Tim Hortons for lunch. <laughs> Oh, good times. Good times. One more on this side. Nice. All right, switch down here. Moving quickly. And work. I really like this exercise. I forget about it. It's hard though. And you can make it more challenging with heavier weights. Or really by taking your time and going slowly too. Last one here. Stand it. Woo! Nice. All right, last crush grip. Legs are high. In four, three, two, let's go. Legs and crush grip. You're feeling it in your back on the legs. Look up to your pelvis and down. That helps round the back. seconds. Ready? Get into position. Here we go. In, back, tap, up, same leg. Now, we did this from a Swiss ball a couple weeks ago. Do you remember? I have mine in the corner there, but I forgot to ask you to bring a Swiss ball to the workout, so I'm doing it from a surface like this. Equally horrible. Switch sides. In, and, tap. Break for abs, so holy. Whew. Eight seconds. Oh, that's brutal. Okay, 
Good job. Let's move to a lateral lunge, lateral raise. I'm gonna take my 15. You're lunging sideways. Pull it up, pop it up to the side. Let's go. Low, together, up. Okay, and pop it. Nice. Doing a little cardio move next. No weights required there. Halfway, switch sides. Lunge that way, low, and pop it. Reach your hips back. All right, time. Good, we're gonna go to a oblique frog squat. Okay, come touch the ground, reach up with the opposite hand. Modify by just squatting down. Here we go. sloshing. <laughs> oh, no, no. Gross. Four seconds. Three, two, time. Okay. This will be a hard transition. I'm trying to bring that heart rate down and be inverted, but do it from the ground if you need to. Ready? Go in, tap. Switch legs. Switch sides and go. Last five seconds. Last one here. And pop. Nice. Okay. Oblique frog. Ready? And squat this out. Woo! There's 10. Let's see what we can get in this round. And 30. Yeah, good. 
We'll try to do that in the last round too. Okay, round three. <clears throat> Get ready. And here we go. In and tap. Last one on this side. All right, switch legs. Woo. A lot of shoulders here. Four, three, two, oh, brutal. Okay. So back into that side lunge. A lot of rays. Ready to lunge and reach your hips. Oops, <laughs> dropped it there. One more this side, and up. Switch quickly, and go. Good, okay, frog squats. ground, oblique turn, in four, three, two, let's go, and up. One more time. All right, let's put that all on repeat, starting with the squat thrust, okay? And uh, move into that lateral lunge, with the same weights. Ready? You guys can do this. Here we go. Squat and press. That's it. Okay, to be honest, I don't remember if I did 12 exercises or nine at this point. With leaving the house midway through, it's all, I'm very kerbobbled right now. So um, I'm gonna do nine. Is that what we did? Who knows? You do. You're like, I know exactly what we're supposed to be doing, Tracy. <laughs> well, this is what we're doing. We're finishing off with the final nine, okay? Great. Good, 10 more seconds here. We'll reach that lateral lunge, okay? One more right here, and press. Okay, a little break for a sec. Whew. <clears throat> Lateral lunge, then to the step up, kick to the side. Get ready. Whew. In four, three, two, and work. Here we go. Again, weights can be up top. They can be to the bottom and side of your leg. Doesn't matter. Halfway. 
definitely gets the heart rate up. And we're not gonna even gonna take a break right now, so make sure if you need one, you take it. Otherwise, we are flowing through this. Okay, grab your bench, your chair, step, whatever you've got. Remember this one is that squat leg extension here. Get ready to go. In three, wait it if you want, two, and here we go. Remember this is the last time, so make them heavy. Make it feel like work. Little squat and extension, good. Let's do 45 seconds per side on this, okay? Yeah, we're not gonna switch halfway because when in Rome, darlings. Fifteen seconds left. Oh, let's work. Almost there. Five seconds. Last one here. Oh, nice. Okay. Now switch sides. Whew, hit your breath. After this, we're moving into that uh, plie wide shoulder press. So you're ready to grab your eights or fives or whatever you're using. Here we go. Push through the heel. Use your glutes. Halfway, come on. Drop that glute below 90 degrees. Push. One more. Boom, nice. Okay, plie. Shoulder press. I'm grabbing my eights for that. <clears throat> Ready? And start. Move into that lateral lunge, lateral raise combo next. Whoa, that is hard on the shoulders. Good though, definitely work. Almost there. Push, two more. Last one right here. Boom, good, okay. Whew. Okay, I'm grabbing my 15 lateral lunge, lateral raise, right? Yes. Bring the heart rate down. Ready, here we go. 22 seconds aside here. Switch arms and go. You've got that oblique frog squat coming up. Last one here. That's hard. Okay. Oblique, bra. You guys are doing good. Get ready. In three, two, drop those glutes low. Come on. You know, the plus side of being with your 22 year old child who doesn't live with you anymore, and being in the car alone for like an hour, waiting for the car to charge, is that you get to really talk, which I love and miss. 
he was telling me that he's been binge watching um, um, army officers and privates and coming home from the army and surprising the children. And okay, let's go into our elevated knee in. Oh, this one's hard. Get ready. Get into position. Here we go. In. And uh, anyway, he's just like, I'm just like a weepy mess. And then I segue into watching kids announce that the uh, the parents are actually going to adopt foster kids and or stepchildren and how emotional that was. Switch sides. He's like, I can't really talk about it. I'm like, I'm gonna cry. I'm like, you're so sweet, honey. That was in the middle of his kicking the car and raging that the car wouldn't start. You know, we all got our two sides, eh? <laughs> Woo. Almost there. And time. Ah. I don't like that one. Okay, I think I've messed this order up. That's okay. Let's go down to that Turkish get up. I did mess the order. I think we've got Turkish get up and the crush grip leg. We'll finish with that. Here we go. Up. See, I told you it was kabobble today. That's right, we got it done. Good. Moving quickly on this one if you can with good form. One more on this side. Up, press, knee, swing. Now switch hands and go up. Come on, one more, you let it in you, come on. Push, up, and down. Okay, finishing off with your crush grip leg lift, which is the complete wrong order, but hey, again, we got it done. Ready? In three, legs up, hands up. Here we go, legs first, then crush grip. Here, and. Halfway, push hard. Almost there guys. Five, four, three, two, oh. yes! Woo! You have moved daily. Great job, everyone. Let's stretch this out a little bit. Go ahead and grab your shoelaces. Let's bring that knee together. Stretch through that quad a little bit and your hip flexor. Okay, try to push your hip away from you. Hold on to something if you need to for balance. That's fine. Bring that heart rate down. Very good. That was fun. Switch sides. Quick little blast. Well, it felt quick for me because I split it up, but <laughs> I don't recommend you do that, although you could. I do have that one workout that's like a 15, 30, 45, or 60 minute. You kind of pick which level you're at and by repeating the workout one, two, three, or four times. See, I guess you could do this like that as well. Just take a couple of the circuits and hit them, whatever you have time for. All right, let's reach up right here. Stretch that torso, push your thumb towards the ceiling. Stretch that bicep out a little bit. Good, roll that wrist at the top. Oh, it feels good to sweat though. I'm happy that I came and finished this. Switch up, reach, oh. Roll that wrist. Good, let's just kinda Fall to the ground, but keep your knees soft, okay? Don't lock them out, just try to touch the ground. If you want, you can stick your hands underneath your feet and just camp out there for a little bit, stretching the lower back. A little hamstring and glute stretch here too. Good, 
Can you link your hands behind your head right here? Just grab them, stretch through the chest a bit. Good. Let's bring our arm across here. Well, hopefully you have a... Uh... What? All right, let's bring our arm across right here. Good. Stretch that front shoulder a little bit. Hey, make sure you let me know in the comments below uh, what you would like to see more of, okay? Always take heed to those suggestions and kind of go with what the favorites are. Switch sides here. So uh, I, I do have another metabolic workout in the works because that's a good, hearty, great Saturday workout, you know, where you can really get the heart rate up and lift heavy and really feel that change in the muscles. I, uh, I like those, so I'm definitely have another one coming up with that too, okay? Good, let's sit in that cross four position here. Stretch your glutes a little bit. Again, hold on to something if you need to balance this out. Good. And switch sides here. It's very tight. Think of foam rollers in my future after this workout here too. Have you guys bought yours yet? Have you tried it? It is very helpful to rehydrate the fascia, the, that thin layer of tissue over top of the muscles. So if you're feeling tight, it's certainly the thing to do to help keep everything pliable and malleable, okay? I would recommend that. Arms back, thumbs down. Stretch through those biceps a little. Roll those wrists. All right, great job everyone. Again, thanks for joining me. Round through the back here. Little stretch right there. Uh, go move daily in your fitness, wellness, nutrition. Don't forget to comment below what you liked about this video, what you want to see more of. And if you like these shorter little compound workouts, go ahead and click or tap the screen here or here for more like that. All right, see ya in the next video.